In today's video, we're going to discuss how to deal with Kony and Tesla volatility and their negative portfolio impacts in 2024. In Kony's case, we're talking about the yield max cover call fund on Coinbase. And for Tesla, this is the yield max cover call fund on Tesla. And we're also earning over 200,000 per year in dividends now at this channel. And we're living the fire lifestyle. If you need help doing the same, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. I'll discuss how I'm getting this uh, income up to over 200,000 if I didn't clarify already in the last video. And also, if you go to my performance of value, you'll see that we're staying in line with the indexes. Even after yesterday's terrible performance, we're still beating the Dow Jones and the Russell. You can see we're up 1.84%, whereas the Dow is up 1.83 and the Russell is down 4%. And the S&P and the NASDAQ are up a little bit right now. But when I get my dividends from Defiance tonight, which should be about eight to $10,000, that's going to help with my performance significantly. And also, I want to say why I'm lagging in performance really quick. I think it's because my account has grown pretty fast. So when I'm at 500000 now it's harder to move the needle. And also, I've linked my performance some this year to the Russell, okay? Because Russell small caps, the Russell 2000 and small caps, they have more growth potential and lower valuations. So I thought they were attractive in 2024 if the Fed is cutting rates. So I'm sticking by that bet, but I've reduced some exposure in them and I'll explain to you how I'm doing this. And also I'm using less margin. As you know, for every $1 you put in your account, you get $4 of purchasing power. If you're new to this channel, then this is what I do to get ahead. This is how I get my income of over 200,000 per year in dividends and days gains okay it's from margin usage okay just a just a little bit okay if i'm having about a million dollars of purchasing power and i use 150 grand this is nothing my dividends will pay this back in less than one year and i'll be left with all these dividend paying assets to myself paying monthly cash flow for life and this is how you qualify to banks for loans and truly live the fire lifestyle which is financially independent retire early so when we get a market correction i'll be increasing my margin leverage then that's how i'm going to get more performance because i link my performance to the indexes as you know one more thing guys i'm going to be going to a live video format soon Okay, sorry about my test run yesterday. If any of you saw that, I saw your comments in the comment section afterwards and I wanted to reply, but sorry about that. I can tell this is gonna be a lot of fun though. There's just so much more I wanna say and show you behind the scenes of what I do in my life and in the approach that I take with my trades, like with using margin or option, okay, and earn about another 20 to 30,000 per year in income off of premium income or how I actually play Cornerstone on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? These are all things that I've been wanting to show you. So please consider my membership option that I launched on YouTube last night, okay? It's for 10 a month and I'm announcing this to you, okay? I'm not selling anything but my e-guides, as you already know, and now this membership service, okay? Again, it's 10 a month, and I'm gonna be doing live trades that way. And again, this is something I just really want for my loyal subscribers, so I can show them how I deal with down markets and I can attend to their questions in real time. So again, if you think this service could be of some value to you, please consider this option. Okay, excited about that live format. Now, the first thing that I did to deal with the volatility of Kony and Tesla in my portfolio is I swapped half of Kony and Tesla with IWY and YMAC. You can see now that my IWMY position is a lot bigger, okay? And also my yield MAC position is larger. It's about 20,000 now, okay? But beware, these didn't do anything for my maintenance levels, okay? You would have thought that if I swapped from stocks to indexes like Defiance and YMAC, you would think that would have raised some equity here because here we live by margin, okay? Margin maintenance requirement. This is everything to live in the fire lifestyle. If you need help understanding this, this is in my volume three, margin e-guide so even if you're not using margin you need to pay attention to maintenance because it determines the risk level of the stock usually and it tells you how much you can withdraw from your account okay because we're trying to live financially free out of our brokerage accounts all right we need to be able to withdraw freely and withstand corrections in the marketplace so if the market is overextended like you think it is now like many think it is although i think it has perhaps broken out to a new level uh, so I'm trying to increase exposure to YMAG and IWMY, like I'm showing you right now, but I'm reducing my stock risk. If you think the market is going lower, then you want to keep this available withdrawal number high. All right. And so maintenance is the key to that. Be aware of that with YMAG and IWMY. You can go to other brokers who have lower maintenance, but then they don't have the special drip for Cornerstone. And this is how I get the growth out of my account. Okay. Defiance is how I get my dividends and Cornerstone is how I get dividends plus growth. 
Cornerstone has a 20% dividend and it's four star rated on Morningstar. So if you look at it on a chart and you say, why is it going down? That looks like a terrible investment. You have to learn how to time it around its rights offerings, which my volume four e got instruction on how to do. And you have to add in the special drip because it drips that dividend down at the nav every month for free money. This is how I really get ahead. So again, Cornerstone is how I get the growth plus dividends. Defiance is how I get the dividends, but time Cornerstone properly and ask for that special drip. Also, Cornerstone has low maintenance. It's 30% maintenance. That's why I park so much of my money in it at E-Trade. So when you're switching brokers, looking around for lower maintenance funds, be aware of that special drip again for Cornerstone. And also when you buy my e-guides, you get free access to the Discord chat room for life, where we alert you of the Cornerstone rights offering announcement. And you also get my phone number for life, but only until we reach a thousand members in Discord. Please keep this in mind. So yes, I swapped half of Coney and Tesla for IWMY and YMAG, but that didn't change any of my equity. They had the same maintenance levels. And again, I just thought that the high yields for the stock risk that Coney and Tesla offer you are not as viable now as the index funds that exist that have the same yield. IWMY and YMAG, to me, they have higher yields now, so that's a more viable alternative to stock-based yields like you're getting in Coney and Tesla and they offer more protection since they're more indexed. So I thought that that was an easy switch for me, okay? I also sold at the lows yesterday, but I didn't regret that because I immediately swapped for IWMY and YMAG to regain that lost performance yesterday. That's how I kept my performance relatively the same even with a pretty big down day yesterday in Coney and Tesla. Also, I keep Coney and Tesla as smaller percentages in my portfolio now. So now we're gonna see less volatility in the portfolio. They, these things can't really hurt me anymore and can't take me down because they're at 4K each, but I added to IWMY. So that's how I'm gonna get more of my small cap exposure again. And I added to YMAX, so that's where I'm going to get a lot more of my Tesla exposure. Okay, so I'm still getting exposure to the themes here, but in a different way. I harvested some tax losses yesterday, although I'm up big in dividends already from Tesla and Coney. Also, I sold all of my OARC yesterday. Okay, I sold it all. Now I'm just selling more puts on ARKK. This is how I'm getting my OARC exposure back. Okay, I got $800 through ARKK, and I'm going to sell another put on it soon if we can get a bigger dip. And I still have Tesla and Coney, and Tesla and Coney are the largest holdings of ARKK, if you look at their holdings. So this is how I'm still getting OARC performance, but that's also why I was lagging, because I had so much in OARC and small caps. So now I'm getting away from OARC, and I'm putting it more into IWMY. Yes, it's still small cap exposure, but it's more pure Russell, whereas OARC had Tesla and Coney as the highest holdings, and that had overlap risk that I couldn't stomach anymore in my portfolio, especially when there are new alternatives like with YMAG and IWMY. IWMY also has a really high dividend, almost as high as Coney, higher than Coney's now. Coney and Tesla's dividend have fallen recently, so this is a way to keep my income up as well. And also one more thing, not only will I be selling puts on ARKK uh, to get more income, because that's $1,000 every time I sell a put on ARKK roughly, it's $844. But I'll also be selling more puts on the miners. I sold one more on Riot today for an extra 500. That lowered my margin by 500. So when I sell puts, these lower my margin and my risk because when I sell puts, the premiums lower my cost basis. And if you need more help understanding put options and how I place them in real time, again, you can check out my live service, okay? When I go live, you'll be seeing my moves in real time and you can ask me right then and there what you need me to do and you can see how I'm choosing my strike prices for these options, etc., etc. So if you need more help doing what I'm doing, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. When you email me for my e-guides, I'm gonna respond to you with something like, hey such and such here's more information on my e-guides and i'll show you my pricing options below after i send you the e-guides and phone number with the discord link once you're in discord beware of spam okay i will never direct message you in discord i'm only selling my e-guides like i've been saying to you and this new live service for ten dollars a month in youtube okay so these are the two services i'm doing i told you i would announce them to you either through youtube or and at everyone in the announcement board on discord so this is how i'm getting the word out okay if you like the video click like or subscribe and i'll talk to you soon thanks